<laughs> First season of a documentary on Netflix. What, what, I was just sick of that. The documentary. So there was a lot of cut. There was a lot of cutting and clipping and editing and putting things in at certain times that suited them to fit the story that they wanted to paint. So we kind of, but it wasn't as invasive as the first one. The first one was cameras in the treatment room, cameras in the dressing room, cameras everywhere on the training ground, picking up every single thing that people are saying. And we were like, well, there's a lot that goes on at a football club that shouldn't really see the light of day. There's a lot of things that are said that shouldn't be public knowledge as well. I've I've seen it all, so I've seen all the I've seen all the episodes. I think when the first episode came out, we, we all kind of they showed us the first episode as a team, but they'd already edited it, so we had no say whatsoever in what they were going to put out. There's nothing you can do about it now. That, but but a lot of players were unhappy with with the amount of time that they probably they probably gave to the company that made it. Mm. Players were players were getting asked for interviews every day, so players were getting asked to go and do an interview every single day and so many of those interviews never even made the documentary and a lot of players were actually like, I I've done about 10 interviews and they're like, I, I never even made the documentary so players were a bit unhappy with how much time they'd given up for it as well and we were kind of, see at the end of the day, I don't, I don't even think Sunderland actually made money off